let's get to know a little bit about the disc golf course. Disc golf is played in courses somewhat similar to regular ball golf. Usually courses are located in parks or forest areas. Disc golf courses have usually a course map, which will show you the general area and location of holes. It is a good idea to carry a printout of the map with you when you are first getting to know the course. Most courses are free to use. You only need one disc to start playing. Courses which are located in parks have usually other people beside disc golfers, so be careful when playing. Disc golf discs can cause injuries because of their weight and speed. Most courses have 9 or 18 baskets. Each hole's objective is to throw the disc from tee area to the basket with as few throws as possible. Tee area has tee pad from where you throw your drive. Beside the tee pad you will find tee sign which will tell you valuable information of that hole. Let's look at the tee sign. First, there's a general map of the hole where you can see the tee pad, the basket, out of bounds areas, mandatories and possible drop zones. Tee pad is where you start the hole and work your way to the basket. Out of bounds areas are areas to avoid. If your disc lands in the out of bounds area, you get a penalty, which is one extra throw to your score. Then you continue your game from where the disc crossed over to the out of bounds area or from drop zone if there is one. Mandatory is a tree or a pole which you must pass on the indicated side. If you miss a mandatory, you will get one penalty throw and you must continue to throw next to the mandatory or from drop zone if there is one. T sign also shows the par and distance to the basket. Par number is the ideal amount of throws to complete the hole. Most holes in this golf are par 3 holes.